Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for the 14th to 21st of October. I am Charlene Lizette and happy birthday to those of you that are Libras, okay? We are moving into Scorpio season and we do have that full moon in your opposite sign Aries on the 17th of October. So let's take a look and see what's going on for you this week and what you can expect. One, two, three, four, five, six, whew and seven. Whew. Okay. Libra. That Aries full moon is bringing in some, some revelation, some truth, some finality. Okay. I do like the fact that, um, there is conversation. Okay. We've got Uranus here showing up as your astrology card. Uranus is currently in Taurus and Uranus is chaos. It's sudden change. It's upheaval. It's abruption. Okay. And, um, this is, this is, a I I almost want to call it like a spontaneous awakening happening in the month of this week. Okay. We've got purpose here. I know what I'm here to do. And then let me get this last card and we'll dive into your tarot. We're starting off with the eight of wands and the emperor here. This is about you getting clear on what you want your empire to look like. The emperor is diligent. The emperor is routine. The emperor is structure. The emperor has to embrace that fine balance between dictatorship and leader, hero, warrior. The eight of wands to the emperor indicates that you are getting serious about what your happy life, your home, your stability, your security, your own empire looks like Libra. It feels very Aries to be honest with you. Um, it feels like you're pulling away from that peace, harmony, like Venus, uh, Libra energy and moving towards what do I want? What have I been working for? What makes me happy with the page of swords and the nine of cups? There is some clarity here or some confirmation or message that have been delayed around your nine of cups around what truly brings you happiness around what you desire. I would err on the side of caution when it comes to your desires and ask yourself if they are self-serving, egotistical, or if they are for the highest good. And the reason for this is because you have the queen of, uh, the, the five of swords beside it on the other side. So it's like, beware if you're manifesting something that isn't of the highest vibration. Okay, because this full moon is bringing some endings and the queen of wands to the tower indicates a potential ending here on a romantic situation ship, a potential um, ending on a creative idea or um, a, a woman, a queen of wands. So an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius rocking your world. This could be female or male, but I'm going to lean more towards feminine energy or the feminine energy coming in and rocking your world. And I don't think it's in the best way possible. And what I do think here is happening, Libra, is that this person, whoever they are, that comes in, it brings down this tower as a form of Uranus energy to align you with your purpose and to make you realize that your life is a canvas. It says artist manifestation, creative accountability. Right. One of the big things that I teach my students and let me know if this is sounding like you when, you know, when my students come and they're like, I feel stuck, I feel blocked. I feel like I can't figure out my life's purpose or I feel like I'm not sure what the path forward is or sure. I feel like no matter what I do, you know, this thing is continuing to happen in my life or I'm struggling here. I'm, I'm stuck there. I always say to my clients and my students get clear, crystal clear on where you feel this stuckness or where you want clarity. Because oftentimes where we, where one seeks clarity, one may think that the clarity is getting this, you know, this is where I need to get clear on, but really the roots are where the actual clarity will happen, uh, getting to the foundation, getting to the bottom line. And this week, woo, and this week you're being asked to get to the bottom line of this potential situation ship or this potential dynamic that hasn't necessarily been serving you for your highest good. Now let's dive into your love reading. You did get Davina here. Okay. So I like that we're tuning into the divine feminine energy. 
there's a lot of healing here yeah this could be a break yeah uh, the the wheel of fortune here um the five the the hierophant and the and the queen of uh, pentacles this could be a realization on a desire okay on, on a desired outcome here that you wanted with a particular person and maybe it didn't transpire yeah seven of wands the way that you wanted to and so this week nine of cups hair the realization is on were you trying to force somebody to be something that they were not in order to fit into your little world or or better yet let me ask you this were you seeing someone, dating someone who expected you to be a certain way, act a certain way, speak a certain way, where you had to like mold yourself and shift yourself and be someone that you're not in order for them to like you, right? Where like it's that, that new moon in Libra that we had was really about you tuning into your sense of self. And, and this is just... Uh, it illuminated even more as we dive into this week where it's time for you Libra to tune into your power your self-worth and no longer accept romance business contracts any sort of relationship whether it's romantic or not that doesn't respect you for you this is about self-respect self-worth above all else my advice to you this week is if you are single like a Pringle talking to someone or you happen to meet someone, ask yourself if you are having to change who you are in order to fit into their idea of what they like. That would be my big question to you. And I am seeing that show up. This is like source saying you've got an opportunity to have a blank canvas in your life, Libra, and create what you desire with this tower moment. Maybe this relationship didn't work out the way you thought, but it's because there's something better, something greater, something more aligned for you. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out with manifesting anything that you desire. If you need some support, help, clarity, take a look at the description box below to book a session with me. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out.